If your rotors didn't already have shaft savers on the shafts, now is a good time to put them on. As you can see from the attached photo, my rotors have some scoring and some pitting in the seal area, and I didn't want to take a chance on having a leak after the blower was assembled. The best way to install shaft savers is to make a driving mandrel so you don't damage the savers while you're putting them on the shaft. I took a piece of inch and a half aluminum bar stock, chucked up in the lathe, and drilled a one inch diameter hole into it about two inches deep. This fit over the spline part of the rotor shaft so that I could drive the saver on nice and straight without damaging it. It's very important that the saver go on flush to the end of the bearing surface. Don't drive it on any farther. Do you want to make good quality how-to videos for YouTube? If so, then the first thing you need to do is turn off that background music. Nobody else wants to listen to Frankie Goes to Hollywood while you're explaining how to put shaft savers onto the ends of a 671 rotor.